Welcome to Budapest. I'm here with this guy. Danny. Hey. It's me. No. It's not you. <laughs> I'm here with this guy. We came here for about a week for an event which I'm not gonna be able to show you a lot, I think, maybe. We'll see. But in the meantime, just travel around with me. And look at that roof. It's so pretty. We started our trip at the Great Market Hall. After a long and tiring previous day, with flights and layovers, we decided to wake up late and go to the market, to look at the local food and hopefully find something tasty for lunch. Basically fried dough with sour cream and cheese, so as expected, it was delicious. Maybe not very healthy, but delicious nonetheless. And with our newfound energy, it was time to go explore the Buda side of the city. And in case you don't know, the city of Budapest is split into two halves. With the Danube River in the middle, on one side you have Buda, which is more green, hilly and with incredible panoramic views. And on the other side, you have Pest, which is completely flat and home to an awesome atmosphere with a bunch of restaurants and trendy bars, and of course, the world famous parliament. It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd, but the hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me. I'll push you back towards the land and sea They're going down for love and love is free I guess we should have checked if the Citadel was open Because it's not <laughs> ah, yeah. And even though the Citadel was closed We still had a few more things we wanted to check out on this side of the city the Buddha Castle, and then sunset at the Fisherman's Bastion. Anywhere you go, I'll see. You'll never last alone the crowd with me. It's a furthest sun. It's the sharpest cry The hit goes bit wide We're the desperate light Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea They're going down for love and love is free And 
we made it to the fisherman's bastion. How was it, Philippe? Gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, one thing you should know, I don't know if it's new because it's almost Christmas or not, is that Budapest is all under construction. Citadel was closed, everything... They're getting married. You... They're getting married. Somebody's getting married. Oh yeah, he just proposed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. But yeah, everything is under construction. And now it's getting dark, so we're gonna move back to the pest side. Look at how pretty the parliament is. New day, today is a little bit gray, and so instead of doing all of the sightseeing, I thought let's take it easy and find a little cute corner or something that I can paint in my art journal. Okay, let's do that. Except I think it's starting to rain, but let's keep going with the plan and then see if it works. In my little stroll, I decided to stop by the famous Simpla Kurt, the iconic Budapest ruin bar, built inside a rundown building and decorated with a bunch of random furniture, art, and all sort of different knickknacks. This is such a fun place to come to have a drink. You can get lost exploring all the distant corners and rooms, and they even host a lot of other events like movie nights, concerts, and for example the flea market that was going on this time around. After walking around a little more, I decided to sit down in this park and paint this little corner. I gave up for now. It's not raining a lot, but it doesn't stop raining. So the page was all wet, everything was all wet, I was all wet, and it didn't dry, and it's cold. So I took a picture of this, yay. I stopped here because I like the colors of the trees and the little roofs, but yeah. And then I'll finish it when I get home. Let's go. After finishing the painting, I went back to the location just to see them side by side. It's been a few days since the last time I saw you, so let's put you up to speed. The reason I came to Budapest was to go to the MTV EMAs, the Europe Music Awards, which happened a couple days ago on Sunday, and they were a lot of fun. This year, we even got to go to the red carpet and see all of the celebrities in their fancy, cute outfits. 
But let's be honest, I didn't really know who 95% of them were. EMAs from Hungary, a country of 10 million people famous for its double springs, its tasty goulash and home to the inventor of the ballpoint pen, Mr. Byron Winston. And after that, the main event, with a bunch of awesome live performances from some artists that I knew and some I didn't, but really surprised me. Colombia is not Pablo Escobar anymore. Colombia is Maluma, baby. And after the show, really long night. So the day after, we needed some recovery. And how do you do that in Budapest? You go to the baths. After that relaxing day, we had one more to explore the city. 